think I got some live rounds in there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> well, in this video, yeah. What, what, what are we gonna do in this video? Let's help you know. Uh, all right. In, in this video, we're gonna talk about where to find gold in the eastern states, and if you're lucky, we might even have Nevada Jack over to, to play you a tune. Yeah. All that and a whole lot more coming up. Ah. Ah. Today we're going to talk about what? The first gold rush. We're going to talk about finding gold in the east. Help my brother out, man. Yeah, man. All right, now, unbeknownst to most people, the first gold rush was where, Slim? Huh? Uh, back east. That's right. What state? What Don't state? You know. North Carolina. North Carolina. I remember that. And then the second gold rush was where? Huh? Alaska. No, Georgia, fool. Come on, Willie, really sing it. Georgia. And then the third gold rush, of course, is in California. That's the one everybody knows about. So we're going to talk about the Carolinas and, of course, Georgia. Ain't that right, boy? I hope so. Your deal. All right, so, and if we're lucky, who's going to stop by? Nevada Jack. That's right. Nevada Jackson. Yeah. If we're lucky, you'll leave. Ah. <laughs> Slim, you need some more wood in that stove. You paying attention? Huh? You know what the wood is, Joe. Why do I got to do everything? Ugh. And you need some better chairs in here. This plastic one's gonna melt. Set yourself on fire. We won't need any uh, wood. All right. So, how does this work? How's it work, Slim? Pay attention, uh, boy. You know. Most of the gold that you're gonna find in the Carolinas is in a slate belt, and there's a reason for that. Of course, slate is a metamorphic rock. If you look on any type of a, a geological map, you're gonna see the slate belt that runs northeast, south west and all your gold mines are going to be on the perimeter of that slate belt and you're going to look for that on your geological maps and that's going to help you determine where you're going to find gold now if you're down in georgia most of your gold is going to be in a laterite deposition which means it's going to be in a red decomposing granite and you're going to see traces of soil changing colors when you go exploring and prospecting and it'll be easy to spot. Some will be white and some will be red. You're gonna be looking for the heavier reds to the darker reds and with mixes of black into that. And you'll dig into that and sample. It's called saprolite, ain't that right, boy? That's right. Most of your gold deposits is in that laterite deposition. So, is there somebody at the door? Might be Nevada Jack. I keep hearing somebody knocking at the door. Maybe it's a woodpecker. Maybe it's a claim jumper. Oh, no. Let me go see who it is. Oh, what, what do you look? It's Nevada Jack. Get on in here, Nevada Jack. Look who I found. Have a seat, Nevada Jack. There you go. <laughs> well, what are you doing around here, boy? Huh? Ah, you talk. What are you talking about? I'm talking about this. I'm not sure what well, I don't know. I hate it with There you go, it harmonica. It makes some noise. Hey, you know what? That reminds me. I got a mouth harp. Oh, no. And oh, he can play that. I can play my mouth harp. Let me out of here. Ah, hold on a second. Hey, wait. Wait, but before we get started, this, this could be some fun. I got a guitar over here, too. Now, a lot of people ask us if we're related. And, of course, yeah, we're, we're brothers. Of course, uh, I'm the pretty one. The doctor said drown the ugly one. That's why he can swim. So, <laughs> no matter Jack's a smart one. Well, when we were born, his his pappy picked him up and said, "That's my boy. He's got my smile." And Mama said, "You gotta roll him over, boy." <laughs> Ooh, that fire feels pretty good, don't it? Yep. Hey, you want some beans, Amanda Jack? No. Thank They're you. only a couple of days old. You want yeah. some? Huh? <laughs> That was a couple days beyond. All right, what 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 key are you gonna be playing in? Hold on, let me get rid of this thing. All right, what key are you gonna be playing in? I'll play the mouth harp. I got the mouth harp. You got the harmonica. What are you gonna play, Slim? Huh? The trom the trombone. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Play trombone over there. It's getting hot. Let me close that real quick. Yeah, you close it up. Okay. 
Ah, we're playing the trump. What key are you gonna play in? Huh? <laughs> what? Uh, 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 huh? I didn't see a lock. What are you thinking about? <laughs> I'm gonna play the front door key and get out. Hey, of here. you know Lowe's call. They said they're getting tired of you peeing in the shower. So <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on while I whip this out. Oh. <laughs> you know, before we get started. <laughs> so a guy went in to, for a job interview and uh, the guy says, if, if you can answer this question, you get the job. And he said, okay, what's the question? He says, what's the fastest thing uh, on earth? And he said, a thought. Oh, that's a, good, that's a good answer. So he brought the next guy in for the interview and he said, Okay, uh, if you can answer this, you get the job. What's the fastest thing on earth? And he said, a light. Because when you turn the light on, it comes on right away. Yeah, that's a good answer too. So he brought the third boy in and said, what's the fastest thing on earth? And he said, diarrhea. <laughs> he said, diarrhea? What the heck is wrong with you, boy? Have you done lost your mind? He said, well, if you think about it, if you got diarrhea, <laughs> Yeah, by, by the time you, you think about turning that light on, it's too late. <laughs> All right, let's get on to getting this on. Okay, here we go. Ready? in your cabin you'll be sleeping outside in the outhouse what do you think about that huh <laughs> Woo. Well, oh. ah. Good. someday you're gonna find that one. i know i'll find that one round soon enough that was pretty good hey one of these days i got my guitar here oh, we're gonna no. have to we're gonna have to play a song and maybe uh maybe slim will do some singing you know how to sing slim no i don't you know how to whistle slim <laughs> that's an old joke boy old joke. listen up I know how to get out of here. Uh, what about you, Nevada Jack? You got any stories you want to tell? We're just sitting around chewing the fat. We're, we're socially distancing ourselves for about 15 to 30 days. So I got plenty of time. You know, I got I got beans over here. Yeah, if you, you want can, some. You can keep huh? beans. They never need to be socially distanced. Uh, socially distanced by beans? Yeah, I got to go find my horse. Yeah, <laughs> give him back his harmonica. Yeah. All right, well, you come back by anytime you want. All right. I'll have to about it. All right. Well, here, let me show you to the door. Get on out here, Nevada Jack. Adios, Jack. Adios. Uh, uh. Well, that was nice of Nevada Jack stop on by, huh? Yeah, sure it was. Hey, hey, you want him to stop by more often? Uh, sounds good to me. Yeah, me too. I I miss that old boy. Woo! I, I hope he does that again a lot because I have a lot of fun playing my mouth harp here. I'll put that up there for later. Uh, put on top of the stove. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, hey, what do you want to talk about now, Slim? Huh? Uh, when you leaving? Uh, uh, oh, I got a special surprise for you guys, too. Now, for any folks out there in California, around the San Gabriel Mountains, I got a special surprise for you, boy. I know that the area's been deemed uh, a national preserve or something like that, so whatever you do, you take it on yourself. This ain't up to me. I'm just telling you where gold has been found before. It's up to you what you do with the information. And also, if it's private property, you need to do the research too, okay? But I do know that there's gold at the Horseshoe Mine. Isn't that right? The Horseshoe Mine and the Horseshoe Annex Mine. Now, of course, that does belong to somebody, so you better get permission before you go on in there. But they drilled and blasted up underneath the old tertiary channels, the old river channels. And there's plenty of gold in here. It's plenty dangerous, though, because that old 
River Channel is just clay, sand, and, and large rocks come down on your head. But there's plenty of gold in there. And the second one is what? What's the second one there, boy? Don't you know? It's the smoking Joker mine. Also known as the Lost Padres mine. Now, that's a hard one to get to, but there is a seam of limonite in the very back in a, one of the winds's, and it's got gold in it too. But you gotta be careful. That's a, that's a whole day just to get up to it. Ain't that right, boy? That's right, Joe. Now, I got a bunch of other mines I'll tell you about in future bids in that area because a lot of people are asking me. But like I said, it's up to you what you do with the information. If you get in trouble or if you trespass, that's up to you. But I'm just telling you where a lot of gold's been found in the past. Ain't that right, boy? That's right. Did you give me back my bullets? Huh? Huh? Oh. Uh -huh. Now, don't forget, when we reach 200,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving away what? What, Slim? A whole bunch of dirt. Yeah, we're going to be giving away 200 bags of pay dirt. So help us get to the 200,000 mark, and you'll get your pay dirt. It's as simple as that. All right, now also, we host three-day gold mining tours, but to be eligible for that, you got to be a premium patron. Now, it's real easy. You're just going to look for the link that looks like... Where's he at? Right. Ah, give me back my bullets. Just click on it, make a $10 pledge, and you're in like Flynn. How many cards you want, boy? Huh? I don't need much to beat you. And we got a whole bunch of new surprises for you, too. Come on, Slim. Pay attention. Now for our... Would you stop that? Now, cut the deck. For our premium patrons, we got 10 of these monkers that we're going to be giving away. We're going to personally sign them and give them away. The rules will be on the Patreon side. Now me and Slim are going to be heading out here soon, maybe in a day or two, ain't that right boy? That's right. And we're going to be out drift mining and we're going to be pulling up some more gold for our premium patrons that we're going to be giving away. And we're going to be getting into that cave system here soon too. And we're ready to get the GoPros in there and find out what's making all those weird noises. I think it's the worm people. Did you make a deal with the worm people boy? Huh? Uh, you never know what I'm talking about. So Nobody stay tuned does. for that. And also, we're going to talk about gold depositions of Alaska since a lot of people want to know about that. And of course, there's websites to help you find what's claimed and what's not. So we're going to be going over that in the next video. How many cards you want, boy? Huh? I only need five. You get four. <laughs> uh -huh. What you doing with my bullets, boy? Huh? All right, so we're gonna get on out of here because I'm gonna make some beans. And no. <laughs> yeah, beans, boy. Mm -hmm. Woo, man, I've really made the cabin smell good. I got a clap on deck that could choke a donkey. Damn, That's damn. right. I ate a baby. <laughs> All right, so till next time, this is Jeff Williams and who? Slam. You better know your name, boy. Boy. Ah, uh, what you do with my bullets? Say, you like some old time bluegrass? Well, we do too. Get Nevada Jack over here, and you can have all you can do. Take care, everybody. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh.